Ruhani Ravangi Spiritual Departure presents the onset of the keen beholder's first odyssey to observe, assimilate and disseminate Tawheed, Oneness. Guru Nanak Sahib has taken the advice of Sanji Valta. One of the most important things that I have loved is Guru Sahib. Eat halal, eat halal, eat halal, eat halal, eat halal. Nanak Sahib has two hands. Guru Nanak intermingles with mystics at the seat of Shakkar Ganj. एकुंकार सतनाम करता पुरख निर्भाव निर्वैर अकार In 1504, at the age of 35 years, Guru Nanak embarks on a journey to awaken the soul of society from the slumber of ignorance. Before leaving Sultanpur Lodhi, Guru Nanak visits his sister Bebe Nanki, requesting her to look out for his family while he is away. With the concurrence of Bebe Nanki and his wife, Mata Sulakhni, Guru Nanak, along with Pahi Mardana, depart from Sultanpur Lodhi to Saidpur, a city which is now known as Aminabad. We now travel from Sultanpur Lodhi in India to visit Aminabad in Pakistan to explore Guru Nanak's narrative in this city. At Aminabad, Pahi Lalo, a humble carpenter, welcomed Guru Nanak and Pahi Mardana and invited them to stay at his place. During the stay with Pahi Lalo, Guru Nanak would spend time in an isolated area laden with pebbles known as Rodi. His purpose was to prepare himself spiritually and physically for the long and the arduous journeys to be performed in the years to come. He reduced his diet, spent time in spiritual meditation and slept on pebbles in this place. This Gurdwara is an architectural marvel in which the brickwork has been done in a unique artistic style. The masons who constructed this building 
were admirably original and innovative. Gurumukhi characters formed by bricks on the arches convey Guru Nanak's profound verses. Undivided Punjab's largest annual Visakhi fair would be held on the grounds of this Gurdwara, bustling with people of all faiths. This scenario changed after the partition of the subcontinent in 1947, which led to the migration of communities. This Gurdwara Rodi Sahib in Ahmedabad was made in the memory of Guru Nanak's day in the outskirts of the village before he and Pai Mardana embarked on their journey. In 1993, the Pakistan government resurrected the Rori Sahib Gurdwara and opened it for religious services. We visit Gurdwara Pai Lalo which is believed to have been built on the site where Pai Lalo resided. This Gurdwara was built during the reign of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Post-partition, its premises were used by migrants till the year 1993. In Aminabad, a local feudal lord, Malik Bhago, organized a Prahambhoj, the holy feast for the upper-class people. Guru Nanak was also invited, but he refused to attend the congregation. Malik Bhago's ego was challenged, infuriated. He asked Guru Nanak the reason for declining the invitation and preferring to be hosted by Pai Lalo, the low-caste carpenter. Guru Nanak replied, the food that he eats at Pai Lalo's place tastes like milk because it's been earned through hard work. But the food that he would eat at Malik Bhago's place would taste like blood because it's been earned by violating the rights of the poor people. <laughs> In this materialistic world, such people are exceptional who have the wisdom to face the light of knowledge by giving up the darkness of ignorance. This incident brings out the significant precept in Guru Nanak's philosophy about social justice, human rights, and integrity. He further expounded that a person is inferior or noble through deeds and not by simply being born in a family of a particular caste or religion. Go 
गुर पिर माता परे जा मुर दार न खाए इन द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट वर्ड्स गुरु नानक सेज depriving any one of their due right is comparable to eating carcass emancipation can only be obtained by truthful living immoral acts cannot be justified or nullified by performing religious rituals bhai mardana expressed his wish to visit the shrine of baba sheikh farid shakkar ganj at park patel from amnabad guru nanak and pai mardana traveled through the cities of magdumpur pahoran harappa burewala to reach pakpatan proceeding by foot and boat guru nanak and pai mardana halted at tulamba a town close to the banks of the river ravi this place is now known as magdumpur pahoran We travel to Magdumpur Pahoran to explore the memories of Guru Nanak's visit to this town. from lahore to multan makdumpur pahuran was an important transit hub out here lived a person by the name of sajjan who ran a guest house succumbing under materialistic temptations he would rob and even kill his guests for their valuables We visit the erstwhile gurdwara which is believed to have been built at the site where Sajjan ran his guest house. Presently, it is operating as the government higher secondary school. The name Sajjan means the noble one. Projecting himself as a pious man, Sajjan would dress like a saint to hide his devious intentions. To attract commuters of all faiths, he had constructed a temple for Hindus and a mosque for the Muslims. To lure travelers, he would provide free meals and accommodation. Guru Nanak, however, could see beyond sajjan's external appearances guru nanak would beautifully transform people through the power of his verses to make sajjan thug realize his mistake he asked pai mardana to play the rabab and the two sang chakadiya changeya ya chakadiya changeya ya अवर से आनप कित नानक नाम समान तू बदा छुट जित अ नोबल पर्सन इज द वन हु टेक्स डायरेक्शंस फ्रॉम द इनर कॉन्शियसनेस थ्रू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ इंटरस्पेक्शन the mind can be freed from the shackles of worldly desires hearing these words sajjan thug realized his misdeeds and began to conduct himself in accordance to the true meaning of his name sajjan the noble one this gurdwara was built in the memory of the transformation of sajjan thug reflecting on the transformation of sajjan i wonder what are misdeeds 
मन मुख की मात पूर्वे आपी बिन हार से मरण पाप संतापी Influenced by ego and greed, internal transgressions of moral values disturb the spiritual, emotional, and physical equilibrium of one self and that of the others. These transgressions are misdeeds. In the outer periphery of this gurdwara, I am sitting in the classroom of a school that was built in the year 1917. Even though the founding community departed from these lands in the year 1947 it's so heartening to see that this school continues to run the legacy of guru nanak to impart knowledge and wisdom continues to thrive mera mujh mein kich nahi jo kich hai so tera tera tujhko saap de क्या लागे मेरा वॉट अ प्रोफाउंड सेंग बाई भगत कबीर नथिंग बिलोंग्स टू मी ऑल दैट इज इज योर एंड आई सबमिट इट टू यू लुक एट द विल ऑफ द ऑल माइटी द कम्युनिटी दैट मेड दिस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर इम्पार्टिंग विजडम एंड नॉलेज हैज सबमिटेड इट फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ मैन का From Magdumpur Pahoran, Guru Nanak and Pahim Mardana proceeded to Harappa. We now travel to this historic town, famous for the excavated sites of the Indus Valley civilization, dating back to 2000 BC. We visit the erstwhile Nanak Sar Gurdwara which is now being used as the premises for the government higher secondary school. From Tulamba which is now known as Magdumpur Guru Nanak and Pahim Mardana traveled northwards along the river Ravi either by boat or by foot and they reached the town of Harappa This gurdwara was made in the memory of their arrival in Harappa Ek onkar Sadgur Prasad ab chal neev tari Guru Nanak nit ne chadhe sawai This foundation stone was laid by Sri Man Sant Sangat Singh Ji Maharaj of Kamalia village. After the partition of 1947, which resulted in the migration of communities, this site remained abandoned for years and was later put to good use to impart education. As I look at the students writing exams I wonder if today's competitive system which instills fear is beneficial for the long term welfare of society agam go chare alak apa जो 
irrespective of the situation one should make sincere efforts and not be influenced by the fear of uncertainty of outcomes as per local tradition from harappa guru nanak and pai mardana visited hazrat baba haji sher's mausoleum in the outskirts of burewala we are on our way to burewala where we will be meeting baba rafiq dukhi he has been kind enough to agree to show us the sites of baba haji sher and the gurdwara at burewala हजरत बाबा हाजी शेर वॉज वन ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट मुस्लिम सेंट इन द सब कॉन्टिनेंट He spent his life immersed in mysticism at this village where he lived till 730 AD. mystical experiences cause spontaneous ecstatic moments in which experiencers lose control over themselves so kahiye deva spiritual traditions is akin to insanity a total loss of control over oneself for guru nanak the state of insanity is when one fails to recognize the truth of self the moment of ecstasy is when one experiences personal transformation divan baba haji sher bresh gire de pehle wali ne guru nanak sahab itthe tashreef le aaye ਸਾਂਝੀ ਵਲਤਾ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀ ਕਿ ਹਲਾਲ ਕਮਾਓ ਵੰਡ ਕੇ ਖਾਓ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਲੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਇਹੋ ਤਰੀਕਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਰਵੇਗਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਰਫੀਕ ਦੁਖੀ walked us to the gurdwara which was abandoned in the partition of 12 in the close proximity to the shrine of Baba Haji Sher in Burewala was made in the memory of Guru Nanak's visit Salam Baba ji kya theek ho ji kya hal hai theek ho ji tusi alhamdulillah ਤੁਸੀਂ ਯਾਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਸਵਾਦੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਦੀ ਜਸਵਾਦੇ ਬਸ ਬਸ ਬਾਬਾ
ਕਦੋਂ ਤੋਂ ਰਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੁਰਾ ਵਾਲ ਮੇਰੀ ਉਮਰ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੇ 50 60 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਜੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਰਹੇ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਬਾਵੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀ ਬੈਠਕ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਨ ਨਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਾਰੇ ਇਲਾਕਿਆਂ ਚ ਫਿਰੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਚਾਰ ਪੰਜ ਸਿੱਖ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬਾਈ ਚੇਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਗੁਰਬਖਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਦਤਾਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹਰਨਾਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਇਹ ਇੱਥੇ ਰਿਆਜ ਪਸੀਦ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਬਾਈ ਵੱਜਦੇ ਹਨ ਸੰਜੇ ਮੜੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਨਕਲਾਬ ਆਇਆ ਉਹ ਪਾਣੀ ਪਾਤ ਕਰ ਨਾਲ ਚਲੇ ਗਏ ਇੱਥੇ ਚਲੇ ਗਏ ਪਿਛਾ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਗੱਲ ਦੱਸੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਾਬਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਇੱਥੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਆਏ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਤਿਲਵੰਡੀ ਚੋਂ ਆਇਆ ਨਾ ਤਿਲਵੰਡੀ ਜ਼ਿਲ੍ਹਾ ਸ਼ੇਖਪੁਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਨਨਕਾਣਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਹੈ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸ਼ੇਖਪੁਰ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਇਆ ਨਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਬਸ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀਆਂ ਦੋ ਹੱਦਾਂ ਕਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਪਕੜਾ ਤੇ ਕਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡਾ ਇਸ਼ਾਰਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀ ਦੋ ਹੱਦ ਸੱਤ ਨੂੰ ਪਕੜ ਤੇ ਕੂੜੇ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਕ੍ਰੀਲਿੰਗ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕਸ ਜਰਨੀ ਵੀ ਨਾਉ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਫਰਮ ਬੁਰੇਵਾਲਾ ਟੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਟਿੱਬਾ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਆਊਟਸਕਰਟਸ ਆਫ ਪਾਕ ਪਟਨ from brewala guru nanak and pai mardana traveled eastwards to ajodhan which is now known as pak patan they stayed at this area which then was a jungle and is now known as the village nanak tibba sheik kamal a disciple of sheik ibrahim farid sani was collecting wood in the forest when he heard guru nanak sing a hymn while pai mardana played the rabab tu a be a b varat da aap ban ta ban understanding the essence of the verse which implied that the entire world is a manifestation of one omnipresent sheik kamal rushed to his master sheik ibrahim to inform him about his experience of hearing guru nanak and pai mardana sheik ibrahim also known as sheik brahm was the 12th successor of baba sheik farid's spiritual seat Sheikh Ibrahim warmly welcomed and hosted Guru Nanak and Pai Mardana who thereafter stayed at Pak Patan for a few days. We now visit the mausoleum of Baba Farid within the city center of Pak Patan. The city attracts a large number of devotees who visit to pay respect to the revered Chisti saint. Baba Sheikh Farid, the 13th century Sufi saint of the Chisti order, is a towering figure of reverence. The ineffable sweetness of his words, kindness of his actions, warmth of unbiased service and generosity of an ocean endowed him with the title of ganje shakkar meaning a treasure of sweetness at baba farid's shrine we were received by diwan shahabuddin bhaktiyar chisti bismillah ir rahman ir rahim my name is diwan shahabuddin bhaktiyar chisti I'm from the progeny of Hazrat Baba Fariduddin Masood Ganjshakar. I'm the 27th generation of the Sufi saint. 
The era of Hazrat Baba Fariduddin it starts from 1173 to 1266 and the Sufi philosophy of the saint is all about oneness of creation. Exactly and and that's exactly the philosophy of Guru Nanak also. Right. Because when he writes in his verse on Japji Sahib he starts it with ik omkar. The numeral one signifies oneness. Exactly. And uh, okay. Uh, Baba Farid's verses are also enshrined in the Guru Granth Sahib, and as I'm standing on his mausoleum, I can read in Urdu. Uh, it's written, "Farida khalak khalak me, khalak vase rab mahe, manda kisnu akhiye, jaa tis bin koi hi na hai." It's exactly the same. Yes, yes. yes. That's the shine of Hazrat Baba Fariduddin Masood Ganesh Akhar. That's the shine of Hazrat Baba Fariduddin, and that's the first Sajjad Anushin, Hazrat Badruddin Sulaiman. That was his son. कर खंड निवात गुण माखियो मान जा दूध सबे वस्तु मिठियां रब ना पुजन तोद फरीदारोटी मेरी काठ की लावन मेरी पुख जेना खादी चोपड़ी कने सैन के दुख True to his demeanor, Baba Sheikh Farid advises: If you have the power, stay humble. Share, even if you are a pauper. Do not utter even a word of harshness, as the divine resides in all. Food is the intangible manifestation of love. The practice and institution of free food, langar, was the fundamental constitutional principle of Baba Farid's way of life, which became the hallmark of the culture of Punjab. Even today in Park Patan, at every nook and corner, one can witness the tradition of langar. institutionalized by him the tradition of langar the concept of want chakna to share amongst communities is common amongst the saints of spiritual disposition at park button at baba farid's darbar i'm humbled to be having langar amongst everyone here Baba Farid's other important contribution is to the Punjabi literature. He used vernacular Punjabi as a language for his spiritual poetry so the message could reach the masses. This shrine resonates with renditions of Qawwals. who for generations have been transmitting the message of sufi masters to the masses through oral traditions sabd 
तन खायो मोरा चुन चुन खाइयो मब तन खायो मोरा चुन चुन खाइयो मर दो जो खानदानी सिलसिला है जलंधर घराने तो सा बिलोंग करते हैं साढ़े अबाओ अजदाद तकरीबन सात सौ साल तो कवाली सिनफ के बच्चे ने और पाकिस्तान जो बने है साढ़े बजुर्ग पाकिस्तान आ गए ने इंडिया तो हजूर बाबा साहब की सूफी दरगाह से इन्होंने उन्होंने रूहानी एक अकीदत सी मुहब्बत से साढ़े दादा जी इतने आ गए वली अल्लाह के कोल फरीदुद्दीन शहशाह की दरगाह से फर्क कोई नहीं सब न मुहब्बत भाईचारे का दर्श अमन का दर्स है और बाबा जी दे बाद चो भी सत सौ साल गुजर गए हैं अठ सौ साल तकरीबन इंसानियत का दर्श दे रहे हैं लोगों को ओ मुहबत तो ओ फैज़ मिल रहा है इस दरगाह तो और बाबा जी का तो बाबा गुरु नानक का जोड़ा तलक है रूहानियत का वह भी यही है बाबा जी गुरु नानक को भी बाबा फरीदुद्दीन सरकार के को यही खुशबू जी मिली ना कि मुहब्बत की अमन की भाईचारे की वो कहें इंसानियत जोड़ा ना वो सब तो व्डा मजहब है इंसानियत का उन्होंने प्यार वो प्रचार बाबा जी ने भी उही किया बबा गुरु नानक ने भी उही किया फरीदुद्दीन सरकार की और बबा गुरु नानक की मुहब्बत का एक ये भी इजहार मैं बयान करता कि बाबा जी के श्लोक जोड़े बाबा फरीदुद्दीन सरकार के गुरु ग्रंथ के बच्चे ने वह मैं पेश कर फरीदा खाक ना निंदिए खाको जेद ना को जिंदियाँ पैर हेठ मोया उपर हो फरीदा 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 आ For over 200 years, Baba Farid's verses were being transmitted through an oral tradition. When Guru Nanak was staying in Park Patan, he collated his verses, which later on were enshrined in the Guru Granth Sahib. The community later built this gurdwara at the Nanak Tibba village in Park Patan, in the memory of Guru Nanak's visit. In departing from Park Patan, what have I gathered from the lives of Baba Farid and Guru Nanak? Tere darshan ko kehti. Many aspire to achieve the realization of oneness, but only 
a rare few walk the path.